Hi to everyone. Uh, I am first thinks I'm very glad to be here. Uh, and you know, it's absolutely new experience for me. I am a little nervous. Sorry for this. Uh, you know, I, this is my speech and I don't know, redo it like one millionth time. And to even uh, ask for help some native speakers to correct it, uh, but it's still not perfect. Still not perfect, so I just want to, you know, remove it and speak by heart. I hope it will be much better. Sorry if my English will be ugly sometimes. I'm not so fluent in it. So let's start. Uh, who still don't know me? Uh, I'm Max, I'm from Abakan, it's a little town in Siberia. Uh, I work in uh, Lani Turcom company and take a part in development in, uh, yeah, in development for a company uh, the Magro Hill Education and the R9 company. The most successful product uh Learn Smart, Smart Book, Smart Builder, it's big product with the Milan subscribers. Uh, so all here uh, I think I want to create some very good, new and amazing stuff, so I wanted to, and uh, hugs the best way for me to do it. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> so uh, I want to uh, present now what we done for this last year using uh, Jive UI library. First product uh, called uh, Exploitation in Russian. Uh, to translate in English, it uh, will be maintained and it uh, provides some uh, program, some application, uh, what helps uh, communicate better between people and the, the company which maintains their apartments. So let's see the demo. It's on Russian, but I will describe a little. So first form is form uh, with some uh, basic information like uh, what electricity consumption, some history buttons, some buildings, and so on. It's a lot of information, and we use some interactive elements to hide it or show when it's necessary. Yeah, I speak a little faster than expected. <laughs> Okay, and we can we have pay button, the pay button. Uh, second uh, form, uh, it provides uh, more information about each con consumption. You can choose some, for example, electricity, uh, and see this consumption by a table or a chart. Uh, table have uh, a lot of uh, lines and still works pretty well. Chart, I hope too. Yeah, and when you click on some point, you can see additional information. Although you can choose some uh, like time period, um, you know, yeah, choose it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, and see some information about time period. You can choose like day, week, or month, uh, like. And yeah, you can see it, for example, here by months. Uh, the, uh, another tab uh, provides some ticket system when user can um, write some problem to the maintenance company. Let's write something um, and attach a photo. Uh, yeah, you can attach photo from gallery or from camera. It's all features integrated by Jive UI, so you can use it. It's not necessary to write it. Yeah, there are mouse on the table, you see it. <laughs> it's a big problem for maintenance company. Uh, okay, and we have left menu. Um, yeah, a little later we'll have it. Yeah. Okay, left menu when we um, uh, when we have some additional information, 
and um, again some interactive elements and uh, let's look how text field works in some uh, form like option settings uh, you can see that it's it's native yeah of course text fields uh, today is native for us so all features they support for iOS or Android okay and yeah another beautiful login form will be soon yeah this one okay uh, let's go uh, another our project called uh, Clover it's provide some discount uh, system uh, so user can um, get some discount based on uh, his purchase purchase history uh, so he just go with his smartphone to the shop and uh, show this code which like can generate generate it each time and uh, uh, customers just uh, make a photo for his smartphone he have uh, another application on it uh, and uh, see discount value so very interesting project uh, and we still continue work with the Molinella project it's some um, site uh, when you can upload photo and have some uh, sham for cross teaching yeah it's it, this idea was presented last year by Nikolai Gavinchikov um, yeah, you know, I want to share with you uh, some uh, real code, uh, this form, and I want to show you files, uh, what we use to create this form. Okay, you have some demonstration, presentation mode. Okay, okay, let's, no, it looks not so good. Okay, it's uh, XML file, so let's choose something good. Can we do it? Uh, for example, Gpanel element, and we use some additional settings, so layout, uh, settings like background. We have uh, binding here, uh, and so let's look for another thing. Okay. Why not? Because Two. Yeah, it's an uh, example of binding in uh, another direction. So, so, for example, for text field, we need to know exactly current uh, value of this text field. So, if user change it, we know about it. Okay, okay, let's see another file. Okay. It's uh, a model. So, uh, we have a view model model view uh, pattern, so it's a model, and it provides some uh, interaction. Let's, for example, find something good. Well, for example, it's a logo icon, and it was uh, some uh, binding. So. Mm -hmm. A little more. So we have uh, binding variables, and uh, uh, we can change it in our code in any um, time uh, to have a new logo. But uh, it still use uh, it's still in XML. So use in XML. Uh, so okay, let's finish this presentation because uh, tomorrow I will have a workshop, and I will show to you. Uh, how to code on Jive. No, okay. Okay. That's... Okay, the main thing I want to present now is our future plans. So, uh, uh, Jive, uh, current version of Jive, uh, what we release, um, it's based on Orca Swing, and uh, in general, our first idea was to use it to uh, websites. So, but then uh, we had some um, uh, applications, some order to create application for mobile platform, and we start to use it for mobiles. But it's sometimes not perfect. So we, our idea to create Jive uh, second version, 
and uh, we want uh, to write it from zero. We already start to write it like a month ago uh, from zero without Orca Swing. And uh, here is the main ideas. So one of the best idea um, and yeah, our goal is to do our library very easy to use so that new user didn't have any um, problem in installing it with uh, coding um, on it. So, yeah, another thing is uh, performance. We want to do our library that application, uh, what was wrote by our, in our library, works as fast as possible. So not slower than native application. Uh, and we want uh, beautiful and s smooth animation for all elements uh, uh, close to user experience, close to some native animation. Uh, of course, it's hard to believe, but we want to create a lot of documentation. So, uh, yeah, and we already have our awesome site, we released it like a week ago. Of <laughs> but you can find there some documentation, some demonstration of our projects, some uh, our blog, and we already wrote some articles in it. So if you uh, take a little time and read it and give us uh, feedback, some feedback, we will, we will be very glad to see. It. So I want to. Uh, Again, said, uh, say the main idea to focus on it. The main idea is uh, that it's a lot of good, very good programmers here, and uh, we can create a really awesome application, but still a lot of people uh, want to do it, mobile application. Um, sometimes it's very hard because lack of documentation, because sometimes things too complicated. Uh, and, you know, we want to, to fix it. We want that our library was really easy to use, that people even without special education can go and write their own application. So we want to make our library accessible to everyone. So it's our main goal. Okay, this is our uh, contact so feel free to contact with us about any question about any your suggestion maybe some ideas what you want to see in our library thank you oh i did it <laughs> okay thank you questions Is your next version also going to be based on OpenFL? Yes, uh, yes, exactly. Do you consider alternatives? Uh, we thought about it, but it's not our priority plan. So we have huge count of ideas in the future, but of course we prioritize it. So I think it's uh, we now we try to solve performance issue. It still exists and it's a really challenge. Uh, for us, and after we fix it, uh, we want uh, to continue and move, like go further uh, through our plans. And in these plans, for example, we have some feature like visual editors, uh, what creates uh, a very good code. And for example, you can check like network uh, behavior there, like check mark, and. Uh, this uh, visual editor creates some basic code for network uh, behavior. So less code for user, and but uh, uh, to do another target, not to use OpenFL. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. So now we use OpenFL, yeah. So uh, you say you have the, the native text deal, but the rest is just like a open deal, open FL graphics, is that right? Uh, yeah, you know, we just have some task to and create our own text field, uh, what works very good, was like, takes much longer time, so we start to use native, but in next version we want to create our own. What will works, not worse, 
and uh, we'll have some features close to native. Yeah. Okay, we've got one question. Uh, have you tested it on NME? Uh, yeah, it's a question for uh, our main wizard, uh, Kolya. <laughs> Can we test it or not? Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, we tested uh, actually maybe a half year ago, and now we have a big progress and current version it can be compared with enemy. Yeah, great. <laughs> okay. Looks clear here. Nobody else? Okay, thank you, Maxim. Thank you, guys.